Today we discuss the magnetic interaction energy. So in the last class we have studied the Lande G factor whose value is given by G is equal to 1 plus J into J plus 1 plus S into S plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 divided by 2 into J into J plus 1. So this can be also written as 1 plus J into J plus 1 divided by 2 J J plus 1 is half plus S into S plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 divided by 2 into J into J plus 1 which is 1 plus half is 3 by 2 3 by 2 plus S into S plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 divided by 2J into J plus 1. So this is the land G factor G. So we have seen that uh, the ratio of magnetic moment to angular momentum is G times E by 2M. G times uh, minus e by 2m where minus e by 2m is the gyromagnetic ratio j is the land a g factor and for orbital motion alone g is found to be 1 so for orbital motion s is equal to 0 and uh, l is equal to j itself so we have uh, uh, 0 minus j into j plus 1 divided by 2j into j plus 1 3 by 2 minus half which is 1 and for spin motion G is found to be 2 where L is 0 and there is a J is equal to S itself when we have a 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is 2. So for the general case G is a value less than 2 but uh, a value greater than 0. G varies between 0 to 2 for a general case. And uh, uh, mu j can be written as g into minus e by 2m into j. So um, we have seen that uh, the Larmor frequency for orbital motion is given by E B by 2M. So according to Larmor's theorem, uh, the Larmor frequency for any case, orbital spin or the total angular momentum case is given by mu j by j into B. So mu j by j is and uh, we have to take its magnitude uh, so e by 2m into g b so g into e b by 2m and uh, for orbital motion g is 1 and therefore uh, for the orbital case the corresponding larmor frequency is e b by 2m and for uh, spin motion omega uh, is equal to 2 into e b by 2m so the angular frequency of the spin motion is double as that of the orbital motion. And for the general case, omega uh, is equal to g into e b by 2m. This is the uh, Lama frequency. So this is called uh, Lama's theorem. So according to Lama's theorem, omega is mu j by j into the Lama's theorem. So now we have to find the magnetic interaction energy. So magnetic interaction energy calculate and we see method and we have a larmor frequency determined. All that is done. So now we are generally in the the magnetic interaction energy. So we know that whenever a magnetic dipole is placed in a magnetic field. Uh, 
there will be a torque acting on it. But we have angular momentum in either object. We have a magnetic dipole acting on the charged particle. We have a revolving magnetic dipole acting on the magnetic momentum. So whenever this dipole is placed in a magnetic field, there is a torque toe acting on it, which is equal to mu cross b, whose magnitude is mu b sin theta. So, due to this torque, there is a magnetic potential energy acting on the system, which is tau d theta, which is integrated from the uh, reference deduction pi by 2 to an arbitrary angle theta. Pi by 2 is the maximum torque. We will discuss the course. So, pi by 2 to theta mu b sin theta so integrating this we get this is equal to uh, minus mu b cos theta from pi by 2 to theta and applying the limits we get minus mu b cos theta itself so this is the magnetic interaction energy of a dipole in a magnetic field. So we know that this mu here is equal to g into minus e by 2m into j for the general case. So we have a spin motion and here is the corresponding 2 into minus e by 2m into s where the orbital motion and here. 1 into minus e by 2 m into l and the So here u m is equal to, uh, so instead of minus uh, mu, we have minus of g into minus e by 2 m into j b cos theta. So plus minus into minus plus g into e b by 2 m j cos theta so theta is the angle between j and b g into e b by 2 m j cos of angle between j and b so this g into e b by 2 m is omega so omega j cos of angle between j and b so you can write this or you can write it in terms of the uh, lama frequency. So omega j cos of angle between uh, j and b. So this one uh, cos of angle between j and b is. So this is some uh, j and this is b. And we have seen that uh, this z component of uh, j is mj cross h and this is root of j into j plus 1 cross h which is capital J. So omega j cos of this is mj cross h divided by j. So j and j cancel. So j is equal to root of small j into j plus 1 cross h. So we have a uh, mj cross h into omega. So this is the magnetic interaction energy of a dipole which is placed in the magnetic field. So spin motion matra anangil either um is equal to ms into cross h into omega is side orbital motion matra anangil ml cross h omega l. So here omega is equal to g into e b by 2 m. So uh, it is si unit learn. Uh, uh, CGS unit learning uh, ratio with another uh, mu j by j and over another g into e by 2 m c and under. So h e y till a CGS unit and follow another. And therefore, uh, omega is equal to our h d ki bagre mechan e by 2 mc 
into h h by 2 mc into g as the angle of h so adu pole uh, magnetic interaction and the zika avada represent edirikkunnad delta w aanu initially or energy inde magnetic field il vekkumbole change in energy so that is equal to mj omega cross h and h is written text il mj ki pagaram m aanu use edirikkunnad so പക്ഷെ നമ്മൾ എം ജെ തന്നെയാണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കാരണം എം ജെ മാസും എം ജെയും നമുക്ക് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ഇല്ലാതിരിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് എം ജെ തന്നെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നു സോ എസ് ഐ യൂണിറ്റിലാണെങ്കിൽ ഇത് ജൂൾസിലാണ് എനർജി വരുന്നത് സീറ്റേഴ്സിലാകുമ്പോൾ ഏകലായിരിക്കും വരിക സോ ജനറലി ഇൻസ്പെക്ടർസ്കോപ്പ് ഈ എനർജി യൂസ് യൂസ് ടു റെപ്രസെന്റ് ഇൻ വേവ് നമ്പർ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് അപ്പൊ നമുക്കറിയാം ഇത് എനർജി ആണ് എനർജിയെ എച്ച് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് ഫ്രീക്വൻസി കിട്ടും എനർജി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ എച്ച് വിൽ ബി ഫ്രീക്വൻസി സോ ഗെയിൻ ഈ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ സി ആണ് നമ്മൾ വേഫ് നമ്പർ എന്ന് പറയാം വൺ ഓവർ ലാംഡ സോ ഇ ബൈ എച്ച് സി വിൽ ഗീവ് ദി എനർജി ഇൻ ദി വേഫ് നമ്പർ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് so uh, the magnetic interaction energy in wave number units is given by this delta w divided by hc so which is equal to uh, this divided by hc mj cross h omega divided by hc so this is equal to mj cross h is h by 2 pi omega by h h and h will cancel and we have uh, omega is equal to uh, mj by 2 pi c and omega is g into eb by 2m so which is equal to ജി ഇൻറ്റു എം ജെ ഇൻറ്റു ഇ ബി ബൈ ഫോർ പൈ എം സി അപ്പൊ ഈ വേവ് നമ്പർ യൂണിറ്റിൽ നമ്മൾ അതിന് മൈനസ് ഡെൽറ്റ ടി എന്നാണ് എഴുതുന്നത് എനർജി ഇൻ വേവ് നമ്പർ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് സോ ദിസ് ഇ ബി ബൈ ഫോർ പൈ എം സി ഇസ് കോൾ ദി ലോറൻസ് യൂണിറ്റ് ലോറൻസ് യൂണിറ്റ് സോ ദിസ് മൈനസ് ഡെൽറ്റ ടി പ്രൈം ടി ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടൺ എസ് ജി എം ജെ എൽ പ്രൈം where l prime is the lorentz unit so idu nammal si unit il represent cheyumbodana h e y in the text il idu cgs unit il aanu nammal parnu so avade delta w ennu parayunnathu mj omega there is e by 2 mc h into g avine delta w ivide or cross h varunu so idine wave number unit il represent cheyumbo delta w by xc so delta t there is equal to uh, delta w by xc which is this divided by xc and therefore uh, we have a uh, uh, h by 2 pi over here cross h is h divided by 2 pi h will cancel and we have mj g uh, eh by 4 pi mc square so in the case of uh, cgs units one lorentz uh, unit is given by eh by 4 pi mc square so this is one lorentz unit in centimeter inverse so in cgs units also we have the uh, interaction energy in wave number units as mjg l prime so in cgs units l prime is equal to h by 4 pi mc square and in cgs units l prime is equal to eb by 4 pi mc so in both the cases we get the uh, magnetic interaction energy in wave number units as mj into g into l over mj as the total magnetic quantum number g is the lenz factor and l is the lorentz unit